in this video i am going to discuss about newton rings in case of transmitted light waves and let us write equations for diameter in a case of bright and dark fringes okay here we have already discussed about experimental setup of the newton ring and now i am going to consider one of the experimental arrangement that is a plano convex lens and a plain glass plate and here a wedge shaped air film is formed and let us denote its thickness by t and a refractive index by mu which is equal to 1 because it is the air film and let us suppose a light wave incident on the lower surface of the plano convex lens here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and let us denote these points by a m and when this light wave that is a m incident on the glass plate here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and let us denote this transmitted light by m m dash and this reflected light by m k here also same the light wave m k incident on the lower surface of the plano convex lens here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and here also same at this point and let us denote this reflected light wave by k l and here also same when k l incident on the glass plate here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and let us denote this transmitted light by l l dash here there are two transmitted light waves that is m here m m dash and l l dash are the two transmitted light waves and these transmitted light waves they interfere each other and they form a newton's rings and which we are going to observe in the microscope we know that the optical path difference is given by is given by delta is equals to 2 mu t cos r and here we have considered angle of incidence is normal incidence because of this here angle of refraction becomes zero that is here r is equals to zero because we have considered normal incidence when we consider a normal incidence here angle of incidence becomes zero due to this here angle of refraction is also zero that's why here angle of refraction we have taken it as a zero and refractive index is one because it is the air medium and here these two light waves are transmitted here m m dash and l l dash are the transmitted light waves because of this here we are not going to observe any path difference or phase difference so directly we are going to write optical path difference as a delta is equals to here mu is equals to 1 cos 0 is equals to for normal incidence it is 1 then this equation becomes delta is equals to 2t and in last video in a case of reflected light we have derived 2t value and let us take in last video we have derived 2t is equals to d square divided by 4r now i am going to we have derived this value in a case of reflected light waves and we are directly considering this value now 
let us substitute this value in the path difference equation then we are going to get the optical path difference that is delta is equals to d square divided by 4r let us represent this equation by 1 and for bright rings in the case of transmitted light the path difference is given by delta is equals to m lambda and now let us substitute this delta value from equation 1 then we are going to get d square divided by 4r is equals to m lambda or we can write it as a d is equals to square root of 4 times r into m lambda this is the diameter in a case of bright ring okay now let us write diameter for dark ring here the optical path difference or the path difference for the dark rings is given by 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 here let us substitute delta value from equation 1 then we are going to get d square divided by 4r is equals to 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 here 4 this 2 on the 2 to the then here d is equals to square root of 2 times lambda into 2m plus 1 where m is equals to 0 1 2 3 so on okay now i will explain once again how we have written diameter for the bright and dark ring that is here we have taken a plano convex lens and below plano convex lens we have placed a glass plate and here a light wave incident on the lower surface of the plano convex lens and here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and when this transmitted light wave am incident on the top surface of the plane glass plate here some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and here also same some part of the light gets reflected and some part of the light gets transmitted and here this reflected light again some part of light gets transmitted and some part of the light gets reflected here these two reflected light waves interfere each other and they form a newton rings that is a dark and bright and again a dark ring and again a bright and dark ring here thickness is zero because of this center we are going to observe a dark ring and next to it these two transmitted light waves interfere each other and they form alternative bright dark bright dark rings okay and we are going to observe this newton ring in microscope which we have placed above the this experimental arrangement and here we are going to calculate the diameters of the this bright and dark rings to write diameter for the rings we are going to consider the optical path difference for this transmitted light waves and it is given by lambda delta is equals to 2 mu t cos r and here we are going to consider a normal incidence for normal incidence r is equals to 0 and here cos r becomes 1 and we here here refractive index of the air film is 1 then if you substitute these two values in the above equation then we are going to get delta is equals to 2t then in last video that is in a case of reflected light waves we have derived 2 to is equals to d square divided by 4 r now i am going to substitute this value in the above equation then the path difference becomes d square divided by 4 r and we know that for bright ring optical path difference is equals to m lambda in a case of bright ring then we are going to substitute delta value here then we are going to get diameter for the bright ring similarly for dark ring the path difference is equals to 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 and here I am going to substitute the 
optical path difference value in this equation then if you simplify this equation then we are going to get diameter for the dark ring okay this is all about the diameter of the Newton ring in a case of transmitted light waves.